Hi guys! So today I was thinking about 1 Corinthians 10 31 which says whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And I was thinking about how we tend to think of spiritual gifts as such kind of <laughs> highfalutin things like really spiritual and we use words that we don't use in everyday language like like mercy uh, although we use that in everyday language, but you see what I mean. And I want to challenge that today. How can you take the things that you are naturally good at, the things that you do automatically because of how God created you, and use them for God's kingdom? Those are your spiritual gifts. What is your spiritual gift? And then it can be so tempting to think that certain people's spiritual gifts are more important or better than others. And that is not how it works. As a parent, can I just tell you right now that it's not about what somebody's gifts are. It's just about whether they're just glorifying God in them. That is what's so much more important and so much more valuable. And then also, I want to challenge you that you don't have to wait until the coronavirus quarantine is over to be using your spiritual gifts. Can you take a few minutes today and try to think of how you can use your natural gifts, your natural talents, even today to encourage somebody else? I mean, and we're not talking just about spiritual things, but we're talking about using them for spiritual reasons. So it could be baking. It could be writing notes. It could be calling up a friend. If you have the gift of friendship, and by the way, I'm pretty sure all of you do, <laughs> then you can, if there's somebody that you've just wanting, you've been wanting to pursue as a friend, pursue them. But as you do it, be thinking about your walk with God and how you can encourage them in some sort of a walk with God too. And I'm not talking about saying always the right thing or having always the right theological answers, but it's more just about your love for them and your care for them and your own walk with God. So I encourage you to be using your spiritual gifts even now to help lead unbelievers into some sort of a walk with God and, or, or one step closer than they are, uh, to help Christian brothers and sisters to be uh, in learning something about God or encouraged in some sort of his character, or just pushing back the effects of the fall in some way, giving somebody toilet paper who doesn't have enough, that kind of thing. What can you do today to be using spiritual gifts in a way you haven't thought of before?